So when Boris Johnson was a mere backbencher, a, a, but a leading figure in that Brexit campaign, he made a, a, a promise that VAT, if we left the EU, would be removed from gas and electricity uh, to, and people would have lower bills. Yeah, absolutely right. The and policy promise. should do. Well, he hasn't done it yet. And I mean... And he I, poured water on it last night. I, 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 yeah, yeah, I mean, obviously, COVID and everything has I mean, dominated politics. But now, once and I agree with Vera that the, 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 the important issue going forward is the, the cost of living. And this is a small way we could help reduce it. And in my constituency, most people just get by. So reducing something slightly is a big advantage. Equally increasing things is a huge disadvantage. So I think that's a very easy thing we could do. And we could, and we, we should take advantage of the fact that we can now do it because we're out of the EU and we should do it. Neil, it is a Labour policy, but the Prime Minister made a fair point last night. He said it would cost around £2 billion and that well-off people like us w would benefit from cheaper bills. Well, that's not very progressive, is it? I think, I mean, it's going back to what Gordon Brown might call progressive universalism. If you make something available to everyone, it actually makes it more affordable to deliver, for example. So you wouldn't need so many smaller schemes like the warm home grant or cold weather payments. You could actually save, you could help far more people far more quickly through a simple costed measure like this, which is, I, I think the figure is actually one and a half billion that, that, that I've seen. I'm not sure where the, where the government's two billion figure suggestion comes from. But it is Labour policy. It's great to have advocates on the Conservative backbenches. <laughs> um, it would be interesting to see where the Prime Minister lands on this over time. But, you know, I'm very worried for my constituents who do face rising bills, rising inflation and a new Tory tax from April, which is going to really hit people in their pockets. They're going to feel this. It's going to be a real pinch point this year. Isn't it interesting? You've got a Labour member of Parliament arguing for lower taxes and, uh, and, and a Conservative government putting taxes up. It's a very strange world. Look, come across to us and join us and fight for lower taxes. <laughs>